Good evening and welcome to Robin's Fanatics TV with me AJ and today I'm doing the vlog on today's pitching in Isthmian League fixture between Carl and Athletic and Bishop Stortford. Uh, for the start of the play, uh, Bishop Stortford are currently sitting in second place and uh, Carl and Athletic are sitting down in 10th just outside the playoffs. Uh, as far as team changes uh, are concerned, uh, there was just one change from the uh, game at Billericay last week. Uh, Gus So, who was away on holiday, uh, was replaced by Jindu McKenzie. Um, it shows where your priorities lie, don't it, with your holidays. It's just still in the, within the season, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we've uh, we played Bishop Stalford away this season, and uh, we uh, we lost... We lost 2-0. Uh, but uh, we, it, our record at Colson Avenue against Bishop Stalford has been pretty good in recent years. We've been sort of unbeaten in the last four. Um, last season, um, we actually uh, took, uh, had a 2-0 win over Bishop Stalford. Um, Dan Bennett and Jalen Jones were the goal scorers for the Robins on that day. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, Bishop Stortford having a really good, really good season so far. Sort of, you know they're competing with the whole church with the um, for the for the title really. Uh, I sure an um, outside chance of the playoff, but um, I think after today, you know, those hopes are pretty much, are, are ended. They are, there's no doubt about it. Um, as for the game itself, well, yeah, it was a pretty disappointing performance on the Robins today. Um, I don't know. We, if we, some of them started the holidays already. I don't know. I mean, we still had the sort of a chance to sort of get the playoff. Um, even after today, we we still got a chance. We went, we had sort of nine points off it uh, with twelve with four games left to play. But you know, it's realistic. It's not going to happen. Um, as for the game itself, it didn't start well for the Robins. Uh, uh, people at Stortford uh, went one 0 up. Um, yeah. On five minutes, you know, they come out, come out from the blocks, uh, had a powerful start. Uh, their in free kick uh, was blocked by uh, by the car short and wall, and uh, the ball fell to Frankie Merrifield, who looped a shot over Danny Bracken into the back of the net to make it one nil to Bishop Stortford. Um, and then they sort of, you know, they kept they kept attacking us. Car short had nothing. Um, yeah, they uh best chance they had of the first half or well, actually to be fair it's the whole game um, it was uh, Mackenzie had a shot which um, uh, was tipped onto the post by the goalkeeper in the Bishop's Dorfwood goal um, but um, that was probably the only chance real good effort we had uh, yeah uh, Bishop's Dorfwood just um, carried on pursuing it into the second goal but uh, half time it was a uh, Carl Short and Athletic Neil Bishop Stortford won. Uh, then, again, about 10 minutes into the second half, uh, Bishop Stortford doubled their lead. Uh, Peters Cross uh, fell to a Beadle and um, he had a free header and headed home unchallenged to make it 2 0 on the 53rd minute. I mean, uh, another free header. I don't know how many times I've said that this season, but yeah. Um the car shortened had nothing. Nothing. They were they were they were already beaten. I mean it was only two 0 with a load of game loads of the games ago, but we just had we had nothing to sort of to hit them with. We didn't have any sh shots on goal. You know, their goalkeeper could have stood in the stand with us and watched the game, you know. Yeah, we just didn't have anything. Um yeah, so yeah, the, the game uh, finished uh, kind of short and athletic nil, Bishop thought for two, and which they thoroughly deserved. Um, but um, my po post-match thoughts is, um, it looks to me like uh, the holidays have already started now. I know we've only got, f we've got four games left, and we're only nine points off the playoff, like, like the last playoff spot, but it's, it's, it's never going to happen. It's, it's, it's done. It's done, dusted. Season's finished. You know, um, we just uh, just went out the races today. Bishop Stortford were the better side. You can see why they were sort of 
up in the upper regions of the of the of the league table um we just we just didn't i, that, I don't know we just i mean we had we had three subs uh, alex a crow feet and two academy players on the bench players that were in there and they were never ever going to be used you know it was just for, just putting numbers on the bench i'll tell you what you might as well not bother honestly just have the fucking one sub because honestly yeah, you, you're putting players on the bench that you know you're not going to use. What's the point of filling up the bench? I mean, we're literally down to a squad of fucking 12. I mean, um, found out today that our captain from last season, uh, who's been out most of this season with injury, but looked like he was sort of coming back, has not even been registered. And it's now gone past the threshold of registering new players for the club. So last season's club captain has not been registered for this season. And now he can't play, even though he's coming back to fitness. And our squad is down to 11. Um, I don't know who does that sort of thing, you know. It's a, a fucking shit way to treat a, a club captain, really. Yeah, I know he was injured and he had a really bad injury. He's going to be out for most of the season, but why not still register him, you know. It, it, it was always likely he was going to come back for the end of the season. But it just, uh, club just, I don't know, it's just, it's shit. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's just the holiday started now. I mean, I mean, well, obviously, literally for Gus, so he decided he fancied a trip abroad, you know. Yeah, we still got the season, but yeah, I'll just go on holiday. So that, sh that shows your commitment to the club, doesn't it? Uh, and uh, you know, it's just well, you know, my other gripe that I've already mentioned on Twitter is um, the fact that Robbie's TV is now has been completely axed now. And now we don't even get Twitter updates, so we don't even bother about that now. So, literally, the only thing from a car shortened point of view of how games go at the moment is literally from me doing this. And I'm still not allowed to do them in the ground. Um, I've asked, I asked him, and he still said no. So, no women's TV. You are now no Twitter. And now and I, I still can't film inside the ground. I need something we can get some goal highlights or something. That'd be something, but no. The home games is just me on the sofa talking about it. And, um, you know, it's just the club just, you know, doesn't give a shit about the fans. It's really sad. I mean, thinking of uh, the bygone era, I mean, the fans were the heart, were the heart of the of the club. And they were treated equally. You had coaches going to games, used to have functions for them. The fans get nothing. We pay, we pay our money week in, week out to go and watch them home and away. And what do we get in return? We get some shit performances and we get absolutely nothing from the club. And it's 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 disheartening, you know. It really is. I mean, I'm always going to be going car shorten, you know. But it's just the, the, the current regime just don't give a sod about the fans, and it's really sad considering how it used to be. Um, but yeah, anyway, rant over. Oh, I thought I've said my piece. I can say what I like on this because this is unofficial. It's not linked to the club, and I can say how I feel. And then I, and I know people agree with me as well. But um, yeah. But anyway, back to the football. Yeah, Carl Shorten had their defeat today. Uh, all but ended playoff hopes. Uh, so the season's just gonna just fizzle out now. We got a we got a busy busy period coming up as well. Um, Friday we're away to Folkestone, and then Monday we're at home to Hornchurch, who's the other team battling for the championship. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was another five 0 after. You know, after last season, and it's probably my famous rant after after that game last season. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens again. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just disheartening, really. I mean, we uh, you know, we had a chance of playoffs, and then things got done, which prevented us from going for going any further, and then we we just started falling backwards. So yeah, it's 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 a shame. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, that's it from me. Uh, my next game for my vlogs, I'm either going to do Rains Park Val versus Abbey on Tuesday night, or if I finish work late, I'll go and watch Coyne the Athletic versus Collier's Wood United. And whatever game I choose, I'll be doing a vlog from there. You know, and, uh, you know just enjoy a game of football. But um, yeah, that's it from me, AJ. Um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a rant, really. Sorry about that. <laughs> sort of just works out that way. But um, yeah, just really disappointed with the way things are at the car show at the moment. And it's never going to change while the current regime is there. So you just got to flow with it. Support the team, not the regime, as they say. But uh, yeah, that's it from me, AJ. I will be back uh, for 
the focusing game i'll definitely be doing that one i can do highlights for that one as well and uh, i'll do a midweek one from one of the games i just mentioned so uh, that's it from me uh thank you for watching i appreciate it if you you know if you spend the time watching my vlogs i do appreciate it. my numbers are going up and i'm, I'm really pleased about that uh, especially the home vlogs when it's just me talking you know but it, they still get watched and thank you everybody that takes the time to to watch my vlogs i appreciate it um but uh, yeah i'm gonna sign off now uh, but i will be back later in the week with more non-league football so until then take care have yourselves a good weekend and i'll see you soon ta -ra.